one of the first things you want to do to try to set up the puck pocket and to try to do it correctly is to first determine the break. And again, as we said earlier, it's very important to read a green the right way. I can see that this high point over here, low point over here on my other side, and certainly that's going to determine the fact that the ball is going to be breaking down this hill here. So what I do, first of all, is I stand back here, I try to get a little bit of a read relative to the speed. Now, if I were putting on a really fast green, this putt may break over four, four and a half feet. And I'm on a slower green, so it's going to putt, it's going to break less. So because of that, I'm going to play a little less break. I'm going to turn the putt pocket. You can see I've put a T here, which pretty much determines in my mind where my start point is. So I want to aim the club face at the start point, knowing the minute that I hit this putt, it's going to start off at the start point and begin to break. Now, I don't want to knock it past, I'd say, two feet past the hole, because that would then give myself a situation where the ball may get away from me, and I'm going to have a five-footer, and I may miss it in three putt. So the objective with the putt pocket is to make sure that you're starting, if I were straight ahead with a straight putt, the putt pocket is going right at it. Well, I turn the putt pocket out on an angle the way that I think is true center. And the true center obviously is going to be coming in more from the side because it's coming in down this hill. It's going to be coming in this way. So I line it up. I've determined my speed in my mind, because I don't want the ball to get away from, I don't want to get it down three, four feet past the hole. That's not a good putt, because I could three putt. Fast green, this tee would be up here. This tee may even be up here at a US Open Championship. I'm looking at that much break. And now I would also look at my putt pocket, and I'd say, wait a minute, that ball's going to be coming in here. This really helps me to get my club face where it needs to be. A slower putt, obviously this putt pocket has to be adjusted. And I'm gonna turn it where I think true center is gonna be. That's where it's coming in the hole. I get my aim point. I'm gonna aim at this tee. Very slow putt actually, down the hill, breaking to the right. And if I start on this line, I'm looking right at the tee and I'm seeing the speed, and I'm seeing it go right in the front of the opening of the putt pocket. Now there's an example of making the adjustment two ways. Slower putt, less break. The putt pocket is not turned quite as far out. Faster green, this same slope, you've got to make the adjustment with a putt pocket. But what I really like about it, and this is why it's going to help you so much for your putting, is that visually you really almost go from the hole backwards instead of from where you are going to the hole. Even though you're used to kind of making a line in your mind at the right speed going in the hole, you, you can actually start to look at this visually better by actually starting where the putt pocket is and you can now start at this point and go backwards and then trace that in your mind, back and forth. Pick out your starting point, depending on the speed, aim your face there, and then it's all speed from that point forward. It's, it's one of the great visual aids in learning how to hit breaking putts.